All right, we're back with some more of the MSQ. Um, we are still in the level 51 range, if I remember correctly. So let's get going. I was wrong. We're in the level 53 range. I showed you how much I pay attention to that part of the quest. Anyways, uh, Nath, uh, Deity. The list threw me off there. I call upon the power of a primal for the greater good. Conscious all the while that I do so at grave cost to the land. I reason that it is a necessary evil and willingly shoulder the burden of my sin. By suggesting that such crimes can be justified, you may argue that I presume too much, but you must surely see that I am aware of magnitude of my transgressions. Not so the Nath. They summon their deity for no greater purpose other than no greater purpose than to expand their domination or dominion. They summon their deity for no greater purpose than to expand their domain. To a scion of the seventh dawn, one sworn to eliminate the primal threat, the distinction you drew seemed questionable at best, but the fact remains that my my own grandfather risked unleashing the power of the twelve in an attempt to prevent the calamity. Thus, while I may not condone your actions, I, at least, understand them. Not so, the Nath, as you so rightly put it. If they truly seek not but territorial gain, I can only conclude that they are ignorant to the renter's consequences of their god's insatiable appetite. The longer this primal is su uh, suffered to exist, the greater the suffering it will cause. It must be destroyed. How lightly you propose the destruction of this god, Master Alphino, a being of whom we know not. Has it occurred to you that you may be seeing the warrior of light to his death? No, I... Uh, you have the right of it, Stinian. It would seem it is I who am guilty of presuming too much. Pray forgive me, Sprint. Nah, I don't fear my duty. Wait. Sprint need not face this foe alone. Like him, I am blessed with the Echo's protection and may do battle without fear of primal influence. Let me bear the burden. Ha. Do you truly imagine yourself a second warrior of light? Remind me, how many primals have you faced, my lady? Not that it matters. We know not where the god resides or how to challenge it unless you mean to pray until it appears. <clears throat> Stinian makes a valid point. Let us speak with the Vath and learn how best to secure the audience with the deity in this at least may I be of assistance. The young lord certainly appears eager to prove his worth. Yes, he does. After being... Basically, I wouldn't call him useless, but he was kind of on the um, battle side. Useless. We are Vath. We are the... No mind. We do not hear the one mind thoughts. We cannot predict their will. Okay. Thanks for nothing. Oh, here we go. Click, click. Put this idea from your minds. Generous hunters, if you meet with our god, then he will have your souls. Surely you are not so generous as that. You wish to meet our god? Offer yourself as a sacrifice, and you will soon be brought before him. We would mourn the loss of such generous hunters, however. So... Well, one last one. You are generous hunters, yes? Many gifts you have brought, but not enough for all Vath to enjoy. Maybe you could bring us just one more. We have 
Very fond of knuckle flesh. Yes, the meat of a young knuckle would make a fine repress. You have to enjoy knuckle flesh. Have you been out hunting yet? Yes, here's your freaking flesh, bro. Another gift for Vath. So unexpected. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have more of the words you strange hunters hunger for. Listen now. The sense of one mind are enmarshed by the overmind. What one sees, all sees. What one feels, all feel. Alert a single net and the whole hive is alerted. To reach our god undetected it is but impossible. Okay, well that did not help. The baths are wont to elude certain concept without explanation, but I believe I am beginning to grasp a few of the fundamentals. From what I understand, the king-like Overmine cites as the center of the Nath society, and his presence somehow allows its subjects to communicate without need of word or gesture. These Nath, the ones who inhabit the larger hives, are known as the One Mind, and it was by their combined will that the Primal was summoned. Those who reside in the, the smaller hive, however, are the Vath, or the No Mind, or Non Mind, who, for some reason that yet escapes me, seem to have been excluded from the telepathic pond, which connects their Nath counterparts. Thus are the Nath ignorant to the one mind's thoughts and intentions and of the nature of their own god in summary we have wasted our time not so perilous though it may be the vath did furnish us with one certain method of approaching the primal as sacrifice should we allow ourselves to be captured in the inversion of the colony the nath will Bring us before their deity and make an offering of our souls. Heck yeah, let's go. Except for I... I want to fight him as my dragoon. Forgive me, but let us be clear about what it is that you propose. You mean to say that you have deliberately provoked the Nath, surrounding yourself into what might generously be termed their custody and then wait until their god arrives to claim your soul i fairly well described my plan you will join me in this never will you not sprint judging by the great risk you took to prevent the summoning of saint shiva you are not a man to err on the side of caution would that I could fight at your side, warrior of light, but the power of the dragon is no protection against primal influence. Forgive me, but I must remain here as, with Master Alfino. Then it is settled, Sprint. You and I shall challenge the guards at the entrance to the colony once the hive is routed. We shall feign a brief show of resistance and then allow them to make us prisoner. Intruders, you live or forfeit, or your lives are forfeit. <laughs> the one uh, the one mine must be now the overmind must by now be aware of our intrusion let us press on into the hive and ensure that we have our host's undivided attention this should be suffice if we do not have our host's full attention before we must surely have it by now our audience with the primal may be granted soon after our capture. Pray advise me once you have steeled your mind for the battle to come. Are you prepared then? Well, I accepted the quest. So let's go. Hold here, Sprint. When next the Nath come, we offer no resistance. Let's 
Surrender, intruders. There is no escape. Enough. We surrender. We throw ourselves upon the mercy of your God. The weird little buggers. They're freaking creepy. They seem eager to proceed. Good. When they take us before their Lord, pray, leave matters to me. If what I know of summoning rituals holds true, I shall be well placed to act. Hmm. Mark the sound of the river rushing through the ravine behind us. Passing loud, is it not? I imagine the noise would serve to mask our escape should we need to withdraw temporarily. But you are prepared, are you not? I do hope so. If you, if I were to be dragged away for sacrifice while you were hanging over the price of potions, I should not be amused. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. Well, that's hilarious. I guess we get to enter the chamber. Now we have but to wait. O oh Lord Ravana, master of the sacred blades, wrath of the colony. Conqueror of the world, hear our prayer. Pray grant unto your devoted children the gift of your divine presence. He comes. Forgot how cool his entrance is. I actually loved this fight on progression whenever it first came out. All strength to the colony. Speak, and I shall listen. Oh, glorious general, we have captured intruders and would make unto you an offering of their life's blood. These feeble fleshlings dared to invade Natlands. Hear me, Lord Ravana. My companion and I did not come to contest your children's territory. We wished only to learn the reason you wage war against the dragons. Thou wouldst flirt with death merely to satisfy thy curiosity. Wherefore should the glorious conquest of the Nath concern thee so, Elizem? Ah, 
Mayhap thine own kind struggle against the worms fareth poorly, and thou art desirous of a pact. We crave no alliance, Lord Ravana. Only peace. We would bring an end to our war with the dragons. Yet so long as they remain embroiled in this conflict with your children, our goal shall remain out of reach. Never before have the Nath risen up in I such really numbers. I really need to turn the and sounds off. With you at their head. Why do you lead them to war? Thy question hath no meaning. To live is but to fight. Long have my children waited, gathering their strength in the shadow of thy ceaseless conflict. The Nath would see the Dravanians slain and their territory secured, and by such fervent prayers am I now given form and purpose. Definitely need to turn those off. As I feared, your very existence is an obstacle to our goal. Since you are so fond of fighting, we challenge you, Lord of the Nath. <laughs> and should we emerge the victors, <laughs> like, Wait, what? I would have you swear to withdraw your soldiers from Dravanian soil. <laughs> Thou art bold indeed to risk thy fleshy hide so readily. Very well. I, Ravana, fourfold master of the blade, do accept thy challenge. But should I emerge the victor, I would have thee swear to serve in mine army till thy last breath is spent. Do you accept? Yeah, because it ain't gonna happen. Why does my character even act like there's even a doubt in the mind? I do. And I believe the first bout is mine. She I don't remember. She turned into Shiva again? Yep. <laughs> what is this? A god clad in flesh? Is aught amiss, my lord? Thou wilt not break thy word, I trust. Mine oath is unbending as steel, little goddess. Thy rules will but add to mine enjoyment. <laughs> I completely forgot about this, though. Didn't work. And gutted. I 
I thought myself stronger. Mayhap with more crystals? Wrecked. <laughs> That's what you call wrecked. <laughs> Be thou god or maid, thou art nothing to me. And what of thee, mortal? Art thou warrior or craven? Very good. That's what I am. The warrior's not high enough level, bro. Sorry. A warrior, then? Good! Mayhap that will provide more sport than thy feeble companion. Except for we have to go to a arena instead of a cave. I that it's hard, even though there's not even a normal variant of it. Alright, so we have to hit the right buttons. And queue up for this. Of this music. It fits so perfectly with this. thing is he'll just get steamrolled. It sucks I don't have <laughs> all my abilities. Yep. He does an ability, whatever that was called, that you have to attack certain sides. And bad thing is, I don't remember how to read this. For some reason, I want to say that. I Safe here. Was not. Definitely was not safe. Stand in that because I didn't think he was going to move. Alright, cool. I don't have to worry about moving this time. My luck. Oops, that was definitely the wrong.
I don't even remember what the moon glaive is like. How is there a second sword? Well, I jumped during that, <laughs> and I don't know if it actually worked. Three hits. I actually might die. Yep. Yep. Easy to heal through. Oh, almost messed that up. No one limit breaked. I should have. I was paying attention, and I don't think I have it on my bar. Thus does the sacred right of combat proclaim the victor. I lay my blades at thy feet, child of man. All right. Now that that's done. bunch of whining and they ran away you do not disappoint warrior of light would that I had your skill in battle I do begin to see why so many place their faith in you so I'm a badass for all his savagery I do not think Ravana won to break his word. Provided the dragons do not trespass upon Nath lands, they should have little to fear of the primal's biting blades. We have done well, have we not? Come, let us return to Vidofnir and share these glad tidings. Yeah, now we can start going further north. Oh, of course. Once more, you achieve the impossible, bringer of light. But with every mortal heart that succumbs to fear and fury, another voice is joined to the chorus, beseeching divine succor. At their bidding, warring gods will shake the firmament, and your world will be consumed in the swelling storm of chaos. That's what you think, at least. But it's always chaos here. Never since we first fought have I seen you draw upon full extent of your power, and never from afar till this day. You are a marvel to behold, Sprint. Well, this time, 
we rejoin our companions, we will be eager to hear the tale and to continue our journey. That's right. Lady. <laughs> Shiva, I don't know how to say her name. Thank the Twelve. Lord Ravana, you say? How curious that the Vath never mentioned his name. And you are quite certain he will keep his word? There was honor beneath the savagery. That we survived the encounter at all was a miracle. A miracle I must attribute to Sprint. Damn right. Never did I doubt you, Warrior Vite. Unlike some, you are gone so long that Master Afrino here and I lost his wit with worry. Praying like a maid for her, her sweat, our sweetheart he was. Stinian, was that truly necessary? Ha ha ha. Not truly necessary, but certainly true. <clears throat> what matters is that the primal is banished and our promise fulfilled. We should return to Fido without delay. At least you forget this was but a means to secure an audience with the worm Hilsfraga. Uh, Nidhogg's minions will not be halted by idle chatter. Come, now we must make every moment count. You are unkind, Estinian. For all his experience and intellect, Alvino is still but a boy. <laughs> He's like, what, uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, bye, Chocobo. Shall we be on our way? To Anlex Thrine, then? I would not have the dragons think that we have forgotten our bargain. You guys walk. I will uh, teleport. What's up, dude? Thou art returned, little one. Has thou abandoned thine ill conceived contest with the Nath? Nay, my friend, we return in triumph. Sprint's hand, we have Beastman's god, Lord Ravon, laid low. In his overconfidence, the Primal sworn to withdraw his fault followers from your lands in the event of his defeat a promise we believe he will keep the nath shall shall trouble you no longer the deity is slain then how dost thou contend with his battling blades but the particulars matter not thou hast fulfilled thy promise and i shall fulfill mine attend me mortals Hide you unto the deepest reaches of morn, and here shall you find Halo, the altar from which you may begin your ascent to the summit of Samal. But be fairly warned, the minions of Nidhogg shall not lightly su suffer your presence on that scared mount. By the struggle within the Caravan, shall I judge your party's possession of sufficient fortitude to proceed? We shall not disappoint you, Vafnir. If memory serves, the caravan of Morn is entered from the second floor of the central tower. Let us begin the climb. Also, I just saw this. This is what Final Fantasy XI's uh, dragon looked like that you had as a Dragoon. That's actually a pretty cool homage. Alright, time to run. Second floor. I'm assuming I'll probably just go through the back and then it's the stairs. And that's how we get the quest. That's not the right way.
<clears throat> oh my god. Really? Well done, little ones. As promised, I shall open the way to Samal's summit for thee and thy companions. Heed me now, children of man. The domain you seek to enter hath not seen visitors of your kind in nine on a thousand years. Though I freely grant you passage, your presence will not be welcome. To my kin, this mountain is reserved as holy ground and resting place, both where you, the minions of Nidhogs, during your ascent. For tis certain they shall take great offense at your intrusion. We are grateful for your warnings, gentle Fafnir. My final words are for the Dragoon. Have care to keep the stolen power thou willest in check, lest it breed further despair. Stinian. The way is open, let us not tarry here. A moment, shall we blindly forge on, knowing the dangers that await us? Thorne herself is said to guard this peak. I do not fear Nidhogg's consort. Any dragon foolish enough to bar our path shall feel the strings of my lance. Spoken like a true butcher. Need I remind you that you are come to parlay a peace? Let us be clear, heretic. It was to save Ishgard and our people that I first lent my support in this doubtful adventure. And this for their sake that I go now to speak with Hashfaga. I can't pronounce that properly. But I say nothing to Trimun. Should the opportunity present itself to rid my people of one of the deadliest enemies, I shall take it. That is my duty as Azure Dragoon. You are beyond redemption. We will accompany nothing by bickering. <laughs> we will accomplish nothing by bickering. If we are to meet with Hashfaga, our path leads up the mountain. We shall defend ourselves if attacked, but avoid conflict wherever possible. What other choice do we have? Nothing is actually coming back to my mind on this place. I vaguely remember it. Just the scenery. The ballads that... Oh, hey. Nidhogg, we beseech you, grant us safe passage to the mountain summit. We mean you no harm. As I thought, blind to reason like the rest, we would see our mission to a conclusion. You know what must be done. I have that. Such rage and rancor. Is that truly no other way? Oh, should have taken the helmet off first. <laughs> Earth crystal. Let's 
Sprint. Yeah, I'm good. Just need to remove this helmet. <laughs> so it seemed Teo Teoman was the last. I sense no other dragons nearby. What is happening? Is that Nidhogg? Yep, he roars. He knows we are here then. His fury. It bleeds through the eye. Fear not, I am yet my own master. But that damn worm's wraith, wraith, wrath burns hotter than flame. Come, the heart of the dragon's homeland yet lies before us. Thus do we add another link in the chain of vengeance. Oh, Saint Shiva, when will it end? You didn't have a choice. To the peak of Som Al, at the end of a perilous mountain path, whence could be seen a string of pearl-like islands floating in possibly atop a sea of clouds. To a domain where dragons and men had once lived in harmony whose majesty no mortal eye had glimpsed for nigh on a thousand years, they came. I love this place. It's so, it's just crazy looking. And the structure back here in the background. We have reached it at last, the peak of Samal. It is said to be the highest mountain in all of Eorzea. You know, I thought it cold in Corthus, but the air here carries the chill of dozen winters. Oh yeah. Beyond the clouds. Now that we have scaled the mountain, there remains the problem of finding Rod's Frog and himself. I say it worse every time. There's a Koopo. A uh, Moogle! What manner of creature is that? <laughs> we scared it. Sprint, did my eyes deceive me or was that a Moogle? <laughs> it's freaking wide-eyed. It was my understanding that they only dwelled within the twelve wood. I certainly never expect to see them in the turning mist. If the Moogle does live here, however, he may know where Rosfraga. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> makes his lair quickly now before we lose the creature completely. Ah, he's gone, Sprint. We must have widened our search. I'm sure I glimpsed the Moogle fleeing in this direction. Could he be concealing himself with magic? Well, that's where you get new weapons. I found it. Could we... But enlist the aid of the local Mughals. I am certain Rashfog would have eluded us for long. Though the eye enables me to sense the presence of dragons, I can only identify a Nidhogg with, a, with any certainty. He could wander the mist for days and not know if we were any close to his brood brother. And those... Our days we cannot well afford to squander. 
Shall we divide our forces then? Lady, might I ask you a question? Any dragon whom you judge is safe to approach? I shall try, yet I fear the influence of Nidhogg's rage will render most of the Dravanians in the area deaf to reason. And what of you, Master Alfino? I have not yet given up on the Mughals. Sprint, come with me to Gridania. I mean to potential the aid of Mughals kin in the Tollswood. After that business with Mughalmog, I dare say they'd be glad to help us. Assuming you have no need of me, I shall remain here. Nidhogg senses both the loss of his consort and the coming of the eye, and his attention is firmly fixed in this direction. I mean to do what I can to hold his gla grave. Glaze? Gaze? Jesus. In the hope that it might delay any action against Ishgard. Thank you, Estinian. Come then, Sprint. Let us make haste for Gridania. And rendezvous at Elf's altar. Ah, but I neglected to tell you. There is an Aetherite of ancient construct here, which should make our return journey rather less... A Doris? Pray do not forget to use it. I already did. All right. 